Greetings everyone, Klauprof here, welcome to another top 10 tips, this time we're going for hardcore in the Black Forest. So for the tip number 10 we have coast navigation. Now when you find yourself in the Black Forest, instead of taking the traditional pathing and road through the Black Forest, it is much easier to just stay along the coastline when you enter a dark forest. This way you will not get lost. Just stay along the coastline, explore the black forest along the coastline, right? And deal with any enemies that come in front of you just from here. You can actually go a few meters in the black forest, explore further deep, and then just go back to your coastline near the ocean, it's so easy to navigate, but at this point, when you're near the ocean, you will only have to go left or right, and at some point you will eventually reach back where you started. So I found this a very useful way to navigate with no map in the hardcore series, and also this, this method actually saves you a lot of trouble of building a ton of roads. For the tip number 9, we have campfire marking. Now, <laughs> because you can't mark your dungeons on the map, it will be a smart thing to just leave a campfire open near your dungeon. So let's say this draw cave right here, right? So we have this campfire right here, we're just gonna fill it up a bit. And now I know by the time I wander through the black forest and I get back here that this dungeon is actually checked and verified, right? So I cleared it, and I now, now it's checked and verified, and there's my friendly neighbors. Of course, I missed them for the first time. Come on. Um, yeah, but like this, you will know that uh, you've been here. So let's say you were going away, and then you don't know, okay, so did I check this, did I not? So instead of just entering and checking your uh, your dungeon, just look for a campfire outside. This actually serves two purposes, because you can, in, in, in these troll caves, entrances, you can get your uh, resting bonus, so you get comfort level 3, just waiting outside, you get your rested bonus and then go and fight the actual troll. On number 8 we have campfires in the dungeon. Now let's say you just enter the dungeon and of course there are skeletons. As you can see they can climb up here, right? But if you are building a campfire down here, now they will have trouble getting up here. As you can see they're stuck. So this campfire obviously serves two purposes. Let's uh, let's let me just take care of these guys first. Come on. Oh, they're they're swarming. They're swarming. <laughs> That's no problem. Let me show you the strength of a special attack. Come on, buddy, give me a break. I'm trying to prove a point here. So, oh god, this is the dungeon of the dungeons. Okay, you're going, you're going. Right, so, yes, this is another tip. So it's a tip inside a tip. Just clear the uh, chambers ahead of exploring. So this campfire, right, serves as resting point. And this plate of stone right here, this huge chunk or slab of stone, is uh, where you can um, regenerate, rest, and get smoked like a piece of ham <laughs> and basically run away if you're getting swarmed by too many skeletons so they can't climb up here and uh, if you have the fire down there now if you build the fire down here it won't matter so just keep it down there now the archers on the other hand you can dodge the archers they added these two rocks that one and this one right here let me get a torch so you can see it so they added these two especially for archers. I think that's what they meant to, for them to, to be... If you're staying right here, so it's an archer right there, they can't shoot at you, they will hit the stone as long as you stay right here and you don't move along. On number seven, we have ore exposing. With your hoe, actually. This is a pretty cool trick. So when you find a big chunk of ore like this one, just navigate to your hoe and get yourself into a lower level of the ground and just start leveling. As you can see, you're exposing a lot of extra ore, just like this with your hoe, and then you will be able to farm more. No need to dig down for the ore because there's a lot of ore down there in the soil. Come on, let me let me be. Okay, okay, the welcoming committee. So this is the Black Forest on Hardcore, right? 
everyone is interested in you. So you, you don't need to actually dig down in the ground because that takes a lot of time is actually counterproductive. So there's a lot and actually plenty of ore in the surface of the black forest. So you just need to go there and start digging them. Use your pickaxe to dig them down, right? Instead of going underground, just dig around them with your hoe and your pick. On number six, we have safety first. Okay, so let's see you're facing a troll. Okay, and he's gonna chase you down, 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 but you don't know where to go. You're panicking. This in here is actually a safe spot. I don't know if you knew about this, but this is a safe spot. So he can't get you in here. You can start smacking him with arrows. As you can see, he won't attack me in here. Now he will attack if you go outside. But in here, just on this edge, so not in the entrance, but just on this edge, you should be safe. So you can toy with him, uh, you can damage him, and <laughs> just... He will, he will be excessively, uh, yeah, he can troll rocks if you go outside, of course, but uh, in here you are safe. So he's going to be extremely disappointed with you. He wants to play and he can't do anything. So you are safe in here. On number five, we have isolate enemies. So let's say you are facing a lot of gray dwarfs, especially near a structure or something like this. You can actually get inside here and they can follow you. So in here you're safe. You're safe to shoot them from here. You're safe to attack them from here. So just go out, smack them, and go back in. All right. Uh, you can use also your uh, your melee weapons. In here you're safe. So you should attack them one at a time. You can use your special attack if you're using the mace. Actually, I missed right down there. That was one. That's another one. As you can see, I'm just punching them. They're just shoot. They're just uh, <laughs> smashing the door right down there. But yeah, you should be fine. So use your smarts, and whenever you're getting smart, uh, swarmed, especially if you're near a structure like this, just get inside, and you should be safe. Okay, tip number four is run from raids. So if you're getting swarmed by a raid, the smartest thing to do is actually to run around and. You can do this by using your power, Ikethir, right? So as you can see, you're having some trouble down here. And now we have Ikethir. So running around in circles, you should just run around until the raid is over. And some of them will despawn and the rest of them that are remaining will be easier to target. But with, as you can see, with the Ikethir power, it's super easy to just run around and occasionally stop for some stamina regeneration. And they, as you can see, they can't even touch me. But running around is far more effective. Oops, <laughs> I just got poisoned. Yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, running around is far more effective than just uh, start fighting all of them or just getting uh, crowded in your base and uh, getting cornered right down there. So running around from your raid, this is what I do, especially on hardcore when you get a lot of raids. Or you can use uh, a higher point, so you can just stand on a higher point. Uh, and uh, wait for the raid to, to finish, to end, to run its course. Okay, on tip number three, we have Stamina Drain. Now, when you're fighting a boss, let's say you're running a route or you're dodge rolling. So let's say I'm dodge rolling a lot. Just keep in mind that you need to keep an eye on your stamina bar down there. Now, I have the Ectir buff on, but the, that won't actually count for my uh, dodge rolling. So this is perfect, <laughs> we're getting swarmed by a lot of enemies. But yeah, let's see, I'm dodge rolling, dodge rolling, and I'm out of stamina. That could be dangerous, as you can see, being out of stamina is stupid, especially on hardcore. So don't run around until you lose all your stamina, because this can be quite problematic. As you can see, I just took a large swing from that troll. So as you can see, this is stupid, this is dangerous, and totally I wouldn't advise you. So always, if, 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 even if you are running, oh my god, <laughs> if you're running from enemies, just look at your stamina bar and don't let it go depleted all the way down because you might need a dodge roll to perform a dodge roll that can save your life in situations like this one. On tip number two, I have avoid rain and fog in the dark forest. So... 
Staying right here in the Black Forest during thunderstorms, rain or heavy fog could be really dangerous because let's say you are farming, let me get my pickaxe right here and I'm farming in the Black Forest and you don't hear enemies and you have this situation right there a troll creeping from behind because you can't hear him because of your pickaxe and all the noise around you so you definitely don't want to have the situation and you totally want to avoid the situation in the black forest because these guys can creep out on you and from one swing you are basically dead you are gone and finally the tip number one i have for you is the immunity frame so the most important thing you can learn in this game is the immunity frame dodge rolling will allow you one second of immunity frame as you can see down here so the troll isn't able to damage me because I'm dodge rolling at the same time when he's attacking like this this is more important than blocking because blocking is like this it will stagger you even if you block his attack you will get staggered but if you're dodge rolling like this you will have frame immunity for one second no matter the attack if it's an AoE attack so not running, but dodge rolling. You can dodge roll anywhere, to your left, to your right. Just learn the attacks and time it right. It will save your life a lot of times.